Hi, I'm going to show you how to light a Herc oven. And this oven is fantastic for emergencies. It gets up to 350 degrees and can cook anything. It's a huge oven, so it's awesome, um, especially for families in an emergency. You can basically eat like normal during um, hard times, during uh, you know, stressful emergency situations. And the great thing is, it's for indoor use. Because um, you're just using tea light candles, and those are safe for indoor use. I would recommend using the Herc oven, like on a surface like this, where it's like tile. Um, you could use it in your garage too, just to keep it away from flammable stuff. So this this Herc oven is large. This um, uses 20 of the tea light candles. Tea lights are pretty inexpensive, so. It's about, you can get about four to five hours out of these candles, 20 candles, um, and it ends up being like 13 cents an hour or something to run this oven, which is pretty cheap, especially for an emergency oven. You're not paying for expensive fuels. Okay, so I have my 20 candles in here, and I'm going to show you how to light these all, and you can kind of see like how many matches it takes and stuff like that. Um, we're going to just start off lighting these candles, and maybe you have one of those special uh, automatic candle lighters. That would be nice, too. The one with the long, what are they called, barbecue lighters? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, usually candles, when you get them out of the package, the wicks are like folded down, so you just want to make sure that the wicks are... Oh. Well, um, up so that they'll be easy to light. Wow. So as you can see, it's a lot to light, but they burn for like five hours. So if you're, um, you have them all lit, you don't even have to deal with them for, for five hours. And that's if you're going to be cooking five hours worth of food. So it's not... It's not that bad. Okay, so we have our first set of tea lights all lit. Um, now I'll tell you, I've tried different brands of tea lights and I've had um, varied success. I've tried, I don't know if, I'm, if I should say brand names, but I guess I will. I tried the Ikea candles and they were, um, they burned very cool. Which when you're trying to get an oven up to 350 degrees, it's not really helpful. So if you were, if you wanted to use the oven like a crock pot and cook meat really low and slow, that kind of thing, then maybe it would be helpful to you to have a stock of IKEA candles, and they're cheap, so you know it wouldn't hurt. Um, the other candles that I've tried are just your plain old dollar store candles, and those burned. Um, burned pretty hot and they didn't burn as long because they actually were shorter than these ones. These ones I picked up at um, Fred Meyer. These are the Everyday Living brand of candles and I think they're actually produced by another company. The Yummy Candle Company. I'm not sure but these are the ones that I'm going to use today. Oops. How many candles was or how many matches? One, two, three, that was three or four. I'm sure the comments below will correct me. Okay, so I'm just going to lift up these candles. See how I'm lifting them up there at the bottom? I'm not lifting them up here. I don't want anything to come apart, and I don't want to, like, lift them by these tabs. I just want to lift them under here. And they're not hot at all. Like, it's not hot under here at all. In fact, when you need to move the candles to pull them out of the oven, um... You can lift them by there, too, and they won't be hot. Okay. When I moved the oven, I actually moved the... Like, I lifted it up. I didn't slide it because I didn't want to scratch the, uh, the counter. So, these... Actually, why don't you come over here, and I'll show kind of how this works. There is a guide right here. Can you see that? little metal tab right here. 
this tab is where you want to line up this with. You want to push it against that. See? I'm going to do the same thing with these candles. And just push it up against that tab. And should, should line up perfectly there. All right, if you want, you can come a little bit closer and see inside the oven. Can you see in there? How oh, it's burning. Okay. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is put this thermometer in. And I've had success just putting it right there on the side. I don't know. Can you see that? Kind of inside there. And... Um, you can also set it right here. Oops. Uh, little stone. It's in the way there. Um, and then you can watch it go up. And you can even move it out of the oven when you're ready to bake, just depending on what you want. Um, and that is how you light a Herc oven. Thanks.